Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Polina and today my topic is a study of students' perceptions toward teacher self peer and e-portfolio evaluation in an English speech class. And first, I divided my content into five parts, starting from the introduction, purpose of the study, research question, literature review, and finally part the methodology. Um, Chen in the 2003 mentioned that the students in Taiwan are trying to be testing machine, which is to answer the questions with standard answers, rather than think over the question critically and give responses rationally, which means that in this kind of situation, students were trained to be, to be, um, to be test well. However, their speaking ability is poor. They do not have the competence to speak English. And also, in the 2009, Chen mentioned that there is a general assumption that many students in Taiwan who have learned English for at least six years has a compulsory scores, cannot speak English with confidence and fluency. Moreover, even the students who enrolled in the college do not have the confidence to speak English. So, Lai in the 2004 mentioned that the reason college students do not have the confidence to speak English is because most teaching in senior high school is teacher centers, which means that the student in this kind of situation, they only have to do is sit in their seat and listen to their teachers quietly without focusing on any outputs. And also, there is normally no interaction between the teacher and the students. And in the recent years, many researchers believe that the classroom evaluation, such as the teacher evaluation, self-evaluation, peer evaluation, or even the e-portfolio evaluation, can have a powerful impact in students' performance and motivation. And next, I'm going to talk about the purpose of my study. The purpose of the study is I want to investigate the students' perceptions toward teachers' evaluation, self-evaluation, peer evaluation, and the e-portfolio evaluation. Next is the research question. The first one is, what effects do teachers, self, peer, and e-portfolio evaluation on students' English speech performance? And the next one is, how do students respond to the teachers, self, peer, and e-portfolio evaluation? And starting from the literature review, I start from a board introduction. First is the traditional assessment. A traditional assessment is normally known as assessing methods such as multiple choices, true or false, matching, fill in the blanks, translation, and sort answers. And we all notice that this kind of exercise have the correct answer, have the, uh, standard answers. So the teachers are not training the student about the critical thinking parts. And next is about the alternative assessment. It is a kind of evaluation of a training exercise in which the trainee has to create his or hers response to a problem, a question, or even a text, which means that there is no correct answer, there's no standard answer. The answer depends on the students, perhaps their imaginations, or their knowledge, or even their learning experience. And uh, there are two types of evaluation. For, uh, the first one is formative evaluation, and the next one is the, form, the summative evaluation. And the definition for the formative evaluation is focused on the changing process as they are happening. And for the summative, it's focused on the judging of the quality of the, of the outcome, which means that it focuses on the end of the process. And talking about e uh, evaluation, it is a process of gathering and discussing information from multiple and diverse sources in order to develop a deep understanding of what students know, understand, and can do with their knowledge as a result of their educational experiences. And as I just mentioned, there are four types of evaluation exist in my study. The first one is the teacher evaluation. Next is self-evaluation peer evaluation, and the last one is the e-portfolio evaluation. And Alina and Sovini in 2002 mentioned that teacher evaluations were more complex and accurate than students' self-evaluations. However, their studies and researchers mentioned that they suggest that self-evaluation has the potential to improve the students' performance. And also, Matino in 2009 mentioned that the peer assessment can play a useful role in writing classes. She mentioned that peer raters produce fewer bias than the self and the teacher raters. And next is the portfolio assessment. Chen in the 2004 mentioned that portfolio assessment is a powerful tool for both the educators and the students because when 
the students are collecting their portfolio, the educators can understand what did the student learn from this semester. So it not only benefit the students themselves, also also benefit the educators. However, there's a kind of limitation in the portfolio assessment because first, it is heavy to carry it to school, and second, it is hard to store. So with the recent era, the half of the technology works become accessible, probable, examinable, and widely distributable. So there's another portfolio, we call it e-portfolio, by using the internet. And next is about the methodology part. There are four parts in my methodology, first starting from the research design and the procedure, instrumentation, and finally part the data analysis. First, the participants. The participants in this study will be the students enrolled in an English speech class, and the number of the participants might be around 60 students. And here comes the procedure. At the end of the semester, the instructor will clearly explain the four types of evaluation, the teacher evaluation, self-evaluation, peer evaluation, and the e-profile evaluation. And in the 